Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is yung adding, subtracting, mixed numbers, and fractions. So, sa mga examples natin ngayon, ay makikita nyo na yung examples natin ay puro fractions. And then, while the other fractions are mixed of fraction at mixed numbers. So, ang target kasi natin ngayon ay para mas lalo pang lumalim ang inyong understanding on how to add and subtract mixed numbers and fractions. So, I hope na ma-apply natin yung ilang method natin para mapadali yung process. Pero yung iba dito is yung conventional way ang gagawin natin. So, without further ado, let's do adding and subtracting mixed numbers and fractions. So, we have here examples. So, let's go with number 1. We have 2 thirds or 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. So, we can do the... All we can do here is, para mas mabilis siya, we can use the butterfly method. So, pero don't forget ha, when you're using butterfly method, kailangan maging mindful kayo. At the end of your answer, kailangan naka lowest term siya. Okay? So, yan. So, we have here the butterfly method. Ang gawin natin, let's multiply first these two numbers. So, 3 times 4 that will give you 12. And then multiply natin itong dalawang to. So you have 2 times 4. That will give you 8. And then yung operation natin is addition. And then you need to multiply 3 and 1. So 3 times 1, that will give you 3. And then simplifying your answer, that will give you 8 plus 3, 11. Copy your denominator, which is 12. So the correct answer in number 1 is... 11 over 12. As you can see, hindi na siya kaya pang ilawas terms. Now, ito na tayo sa number 2. May mga tanong sa aking unang video on how to add and subtract fractions. What if, sir, tatlo na po yung ating given? Can we still apply butterfly method? Hindi na po pwede. So, what we're gonna do here is we need to apply the conventional method. We need to find the LCD of these denominators. Since the numbers are 3, 3, 6, and 12. Actually, kailangan mo nang hanapin yung LCM. Papakita ko sa inyo ha. List common multiple. So you have here 3. Ang multiples ng 3 ay 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. Yung multiples naman ng 6 ay 6, 12, 18, 20, 4, and so on. As in 12 naman, multiples niya ay 12, 24, 36, and so on. Yung list multiple kasi, list common multiple kasi ay yung unang, yung pinakang babang pare-pare sila, which is 12. Therefore, ito yung LCM ng 3, 6, and 12. So ngayon, yun ngayon yung magiging LCD natin, which is 12. So tanda natin yung method natin, ha? So ang process natin is, divide, multiply. So, 12 divided by 3, that will give you 4 times 2, that is 8. Then, kopyahin mo tong sign dito, yung operation mo minus. Again, our process is divide, multiply. 12 divided by 6, that will give you 2 times 1, that is 2. Kopyahin mo dito. So, plus. And then, Divide, multiply. 12 divided by 12, that will give you 1. And then times 7, that is plus 7. And then simplify mo lang yung numerator. 8 plus 2, ah, sorry, 8 minus 2, that will give you 6. Plus 7, that is 13 over 12. Some of the teachers are accepting improper fractions. Improper yan kasi mas mataas yung numerator. Pero ang tama kasi yung sagot dito is you need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. So gagawin natin ngayon is 13 divided by 12. So meron tayong 1. 1 times 12, that is 12 minus 1. So ito mangyayari. Ito, yung nandiyan sa ibabaw, yan yung magiging whole number natin. At yung denominator mo, copy him yung 12. And then, itong remainder na to, 
siya yung magiging numerator mo. Therefore, the answer for item number 2 is none other than 1 and 1 over 12. Okay? So, let's move on. We still have 3 examples here. And sana makatulong talaga ako sa inyo. So, ang request ko lang, if ever na kayo ay natuto within our video, can you please ano, try to put some comment if natuto talaga kayo? Kasi parang natutuwa akong magbasa ng mga ko sa comment sections natin. Okay? So, let's have item number 3. For item number 3, we have here a mixed number and a fraction. Conventional way or yung normal na ginagawa rito ay you need to convert first this mixed number into an improper fraction. But in our tutorial video today, ang gagawin natin, ito, mas madali kasi ito eh. Uh, I-isolate muna natin yung, ano, yung mixed number. Tapos ang i-add lang natin ay yung dalawa na fraction plus 2 thirds. Dito, pwede mo nang gawin yung butterfly method. So, you have 9 plus butterfly tayo. Ito muna ng dalawa ng to. Magiging 2 times 3, 6. I-multiply din natin to 1 times 3. to will give you 3. Plus 2 times 2. Tama? That will give you plus 4. So, you have 9 plus 7 over 6. As you can see, guys, our kids, 7 over 6 yan. So, you need to convert it into improper fraction. So, convert natin. 6 divided by, uh, sorry, 7 divided by 6. That was 1. Okay. 1 times 6, 6. Subtract natin. Magiging 1. So, ang ito ngayon, ay yung improper fraction ngayon natin, 9 plus, ito siya, 1 Ito naman yung denominator mo 6 Ito yung magiging numerator mo yung ating tag dito yung ating remainder and simplify your answer that will give you 9 plus 1 is 10 Tama? Add natin itong dalawang to kasi para sa lang whole number 10 and 1 over 6 This is the answer for item number 3. Okay? Now, for item number 4, we have 6 and 3 over 4 plus 3 and 5 over 8. So, same method. We need to isolate the whole numbers 6 and 3. We have 6 plus 3 plus your fraction should be added separately. So, meron ka ngayon 3 over 4. plus 5 over 8. And then, nagyan natin separation lang dito. Your whole numbers is equal to 9, plus, butterfly method tayo dito sa ating fractions. 4 times 8 is 32. And then, this one, 3 times 8, that will give you 24, right? Okay, 24. And then 4 times 5, that will give you plus 20. Then simplifying your fraction, 9 plus 44 over 32. And as you can see, yung numerator natin saka denominator natin ay pwede pa siyang ilawas terms. Both of them are divisible by 4, I think. 4. By 4 nga, 4. So you have 9 plus divided by 4. So ito ngayon ay magiging 11 over 8. So paano nga yun siya naging 11 over 8? Because you have 44 divided by 4, that is 11. And then 32 divided by 4 is 8. At ito ay isang improper fraction, so you need to divide 11 by 8, that is 1. So, subtract natin. So, 3. So, magiging 9 plus 1. Ito yan. And then, fraction mo, copy yung denominator na 8. And then, your remainder will be the, the numerator. At i-add mo itong dalawang to. That will give you 10 and 3 over 8. That's it. Okay? So, for the last item, 
we have 1 half plus 3 over 4, 3 and 1 fourth plus 5. So, meron tayong whole number na dalawa, ihiwalay natin, you have 3 plus 5. And then, may dalawa tayong fraction ito, saka ito, you have 1 half plus 1 fourth. Kailangan lang natin mag butterfly method. So, this is 8 plus 2 times 4, that will give you 8. 4 times 1, that will give you 4. 2 times 1, that will give you 2. So, meron ko ngayon 8 plus 6 over 8. At yung 6 over 8 natin, is equivalent siya sa 3 fourths, right? So, pagsamayin lang natin, 8 and 3 over 4. This is the final answer for item number 5. So, I hope na within those examples, ay natuto kayo on how to add and subtract mixed numbers and fractions. Kasi yung next videos natin, ang gagawin naman natin is on how to multiply fraction or on how to divide fractions. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!